How's it going everyone? Today we are going to go after some smelt. I'm going to try to teach you how to jig for smelt and also I've got some uh, tip ups set out for trout. So the first thing I'm going to go over in this smelt fishing how to video is what you can use for jigs slash bait. Now the first thing that I ever tried using for smelt was just a very small tungsten jig. I think it's like a three millimeter tungsten jig. Color wise doesn't really matter as long as you have bait on it but um, this one happens to be gold. So that's the first type of bait you can use. Um, small small tungsten jigs. Uh, panfish jigs I guess work really well depending on the size smelt you're catching. The ones in here the, the jigs might be a little too big for them. Uh, that's what I've noticed anyways. But Now the second thing you can use is a Haley which I don't have with me today. I just realized I'm missing it. But a Haley is basically it's a bibbit about that long and it has a chain on the bottom of it leading to a little hook. Which the little hook is great for smelt fishing. Um, that's pretty much what you want. You can get glow in the dark Haley's as well. But my all time favorite setup is similar to what you'd use for brook trout fishing which is just it's a split shot with a little bit of line leading down to a number six hook. A number eight hook would be even better, but because I'm fishing in waters that have trout in them too, I'm running a number six just in case I happen to hook onto a trout, which I have already done this season. So I'm running a number six and they seem to do just fine. Me and my buddy were out here a couple days ago and we caught 260 of them. So that's the first portion of this video. Now. The second thing that I want to go over is uh, what you can use for actual bait. Now, you can use a wide variety of things. I'm sure like a little piece of night crawler would work if you can find those in the winter at stores or whatever. But what I like to use is just a little uh, little maggot or wax worm or whatever you want to prefer to call them. A lot of people call them spikes. And what I do with my spike is just I take my number six hook and then I put the hook directly in the center of the spike and just pop them onto that hook just like so and that's what the end product ends up looking like and a lot of other people I've even tried it myself I use or uh, will use smelt <clears throat> actual pieces of little pieces of smelt they'll take a knife and just cut little squares and it did work for me um, I caught some off of it but what I found out was spikes are the way to go. They seem to be way more interested in them. I don't know if it's the color or the smell or taste, whatever it is, but they like the, the maggots better. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the next part of jig and smelt. So another thing that you may want or you may already have is a, um, a fish finder, preferably the ones that have the uh, traditional Fish, fish finder setting on there. This one happens to be a Garmin Striker 4 Plus, but I'm sure there's other, all sorts of other brands. This is, happens to be the one I have. Now, if you don't, if you don't know how to use fish finders or you're not familiar with them yet, I'm going to show you how they work. So you, you can see my bait there. See it coming off the top of the screen. You can see my bait going down. Now there's, a, there's a school of smelt down there right now. So I'm dropping all the way to the bottom. There's some at about 7 feet, but there's also a bunch of them down towards about 11 feet. Now you can see there's a school down there right about 10 feet. So basically what you want to do is bring your jig or your bait right above the school of smelt. And you can watch them come up. Now this isn't, fish finders aren't essential for it. But there we go, just like that I got a smelt on right now actually. And that's what we're after. You can see it right there. So I'm going to take him and put him in the, on the ice right here. Um, smelt are freaking phenomenal eating. They're great tasting fish. And they're so easy to clean. I do have a video on how to clean smelt as well that you can check out. Um, but yeah, so you just drop, right, drop your jig right down until you reach the school. And what I like to do is just keep it above the school a little bit. Like I said, again, fish finders aren't essential. You just got to play around with it if you don't have one, and you can find out where the school is hitting. Um, but I like to keep my rod tip just as still as I can, 
and uh, sometimes you'll have to jig them a little bit but most of the time you can just keep it still and they'll come hit it but let me uh, zoom on out and I'll show you my rod tip here alright guys now one thing that you're going to want to do uh, when you're smelt fishing you have to have complete focus on watching your rod tip because these little guys they hit so light you can't you cannot feel or you cannot feel their bite you can only physically see their bite and you just see I just caught another one there um, but I'm going to show you guys just watch the rod tip here watch how sensitive this bite is I'm going to zoom in a little bit on it so you can see it a little better <clears throat> alright now right now the school is about at three feet down so I'm just doing a little bit of light jigging just to get their attention that there is bait down there I got one coming up right now I don't know if you can see that rod tip can you see the rod tip just missed that one guys but you'll have that they are small there we go that was a good that was a good hit oh come on don't get don't get off there we go all right so as you can see I just caught another one here um, let me drop my rod down here or my line down the water again here and let you take another peek as you can see I'm still using the same wax worm I've put on uh, that I showed you this morning that's another good thing about smelt fishing uh, they don't cost a lot to go fishing for come on go down <clears throat> so now you can see the school is uh, well you can't see it but now the school is all the way back down to around 10 feet so I'm dropping all the way down to 10 feet then I just start a little bit of light jigging just to get their attention and I got a hit already yeah, I think you can see that rod tip there that's that's the hit right there I don't know if you saw that or not I'm hoping you did but you can believe me when I say it's the, one of the lightest hitting fish I've ever fished for <laughs> yeah they are a school fish um, obviously and you can see if I zoom in again there's a monster school of them down there from about 11 feet to, to uh, about nine and a half, ten feet and that's what we're after I mean we came, I came out here and just having a blast jigging smelt and waiting for a trout bite so the location of where you're gonna find smelt typically is spots that has a really deep hole of water like a depth of like 40 feet plus you're gonna find smelt in there typically um, you can probably do some research on your uh, state's fish and wildlife page or whatever on the internet and try to find out where they are located in your state um, but yeah as you can see it's it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it um, and remember that's the key things are use a small hook make sure you have bait on your hook or bibbit using either spikes or um, smelt or night crawlers whatever and number three is just stay focused and watch for your rod tip a little bit of bounce because they like I said they don't hit very hard this is about as hard as they hit right there it's like nothing that's pretty much it and they don't hit very long either so you have to be right on top of it if you're gonna catch them but if you've never tried smelt fishing I highly recommend it it's very fun to do it, like it's very challenging at first but it is fun so I highly recommend it um, make sure to stay tuned for my upcoming videos I have uh, some trout fishing videos today I'm hoping that is gonna come out um, yeah if you need any have any questions or comments go ahead and drop them down in the comment section make sure to like this video if it helped you at all um, subscribe if you're not already turn on your bell notifications so you'll be uh, notified when I release a new video and stay tuned for more hunting and fishing videos and remember always to keep it outdoors all right guys so I just finally just landed my first uh, brown of the day and it is a beauty absolute beauty guys look at that freaking fish oh, I couldn't get it on camera because the wind was blowing so hard um, yeah the wind was blowing so freaking hard I just could not get my camera out here just because it would have tipped over but wow what a nice freaking brown oh he's so freaking pretty 
I think that's my new PB as well. By the way, guys, look at his color. I don't know if you can see that, but wow. 